So this video will show the comprehensive assembly of the Mantic Triple Disc 9000 series clutch. So a good first step is always to lay out all your pieces and get everything as clean as possible. So I'm going to use a white paper towel as optimum. I like lacquer thinner. You can use brake clean. If you're in a pinch, you can use carb clean. Um, but whatever's going to take, uh, take whatever oils and uh, things of that nature off the surface leave it clear and residue free. That's really what we're shooting for. We'll make sure that the discs and the steel have a nice clean surface to work against before we do anything. So be sure to clean the flywheel, clean the drive blocks, clean the intermediate plates both sides. I even like to clean the inside here and the outside. Get any and all protective oil off the surfaces before you assemble. Uh, and we'll keep moving through here. We'll, we'll go through some other steps to help get this together correctly. So the next step is we want to identify which disc is going to go where. And if you look real close here at the top, you'll see that the disc is actually labeled flywheel side, which means that this side of the disc, this offset side of the disc, is what's going to face the flywheel. You can see the back side's a little flatter, and that's going to face the pressure plate. Now with the triples, it's pretty easy to remember. Two discs are going to face the flywheel. One disc is going to face the pressure plate. That makes sure everything has the right clearance and the clutch will work properly. Got everything kind of laid out the way we want. We'll start by putting that flywheel side disc, or the first flywheel side disc, into position like such. Let's grab our other intermediate plate, which again, we've cleaned and we know is free of any contaminants. grab our other flywheel side disc, which I should have had ready to go. And then it's always a good idea to take the alignment tool and get these two discs to where they're matched up. And if you take a look down here, you want to get the actual pads of the disc to be kind of right over top of each other. You want these guys in line just like that. Second intermediate plate, and we're going to install it. And the key here is we want to keep the assist springs in line with each other. Similar theories to how we did the disc, but we want these springs all in a line. And what that does is that helps them assist evenly when you step on the clutch pedal and try to release the discs. Pull our alignment tool back out, and we're going to look for our pressure plate side disc. You can see the marking there. And note too that this disc, the offset faces the pressure plate. So this is the only disc that goes in the opposite orientation of the first two. So we place them on. Let's grab our friendly alignment tool. And we're going to match the friction pads up with the others, just like that. So everything's in a line. pressure ring on, goes on just like the intermediate plates. We can leave our alignment tool in there because if you're doing this on the car, obviously this is going to be 90 degrees from how it is and you'll have the alignment tool in there anyway. Then let's install our cover, like such. Alright, so let's uh, bolt the cover into position, put our wave washer on. Throw a nut on there. You may have to hold the bolt on the back side just to keep it in position. But give a couple turns and start each one like that. Then you can work your way around with your ratchet and tighten each one kind of in a star pattern to get to about 24.